hi uh, this video i am going to tell about the uh, various services provided by the operating system so as we know that uh, operating system means it is an interface between uh, user and computer hardware so these are the various uh, services provided by the uh, operating system so like program execution io operations file systems communication resource allocation accounting error detection and production and security so these are the various services provided we are going to see one by one in detail about the uh, detail about all the services so apart from that uh, os provides uh, various user interfaces so normally uh, uh, operating system provides a platform in, uh, that provides uh, the uh, to provides the application program to run so there are three uh, user interfaces normally we have one is a command line interface second one is a batch interface and third one is a gui so gui means it is a graphical user interface so first uh, we are going to discuss about the various interfaces uh, we have in operating system so operating system as we know that it provides an environment for execution of the application programs and services it provides various services to the programs as well as users uh, as i told earlier so we have three services uh, sorry three interfaces uh, what are the interfaces uh, we have is one is a command line interface so it is shortly called as cli cli denotes for command line interface second one is a batch interface and third one is a guy so guy means it is a graphical user interface so first command line interface what is meant by command line interface means uh, it uses text commands and a method for entering them so whenever the user wants to uh, execute any uh, any operation so they have to provide the commands text commands so the uh, interpreter will get the command from the user and it will execute the command and it will provide the output to the user so that is actually called as command line interface so second one is a batch interface so batch interface actually it is similar to the command line interface instead of directly entering the text uh, as a command here the commands and directives to control these commands are entered into files and those files are executed instead of executing uh, a text command so we are going to store the commands and the directives to control these commands are entered into the files and those files are executed so this is actually batch interface and third one is a very popular interface we normally uh, nowadays we are using that is a graphical user interface so what is meant by graphical user interface it is an interface uh, with a pointing device window with a pointing device to direct io uh, to choose from menus and make selections and a keyboard to enter the text so normally we have we are using only uh, the guy interface so whatever operation we want to do so we can go to the particular uh, menus and icon we are clicking that icon and we are executing the uh, particular operation so this is actually called as uh, graphical user interface and next we are going to see about the different services provided by the operating system so first one is a program execution so what is meant by program execution normally the programs are available in memory so whenever we want to execute the program so that program should be loaded from uh, memory into processor so this is actually called as program execution the system must be able to load a program into memory and to run that program end execution either normally or abnormally so when we uh, uh, initially uh, write the program it is available in the secondary memory so whenever we we are going to execute the program it must be transferred from secondary memory into main memory then uh, it will be executed so once the execution is over so we can end the execution either normally or abnormally sometimes the program can be uh, uh, executed normally sometimes it may it may be aborted uh, abnormally also so whenever in case of any error or in case of any other interrupt also it may be terminated abnormally so that is actually called as program execution uh, second one is io operation second uh, service is an io operation so what is io operation is they are running program sometimes may require an input and output some suppose in case we are executing a program uh, it ask input from the user so we have to get the input from the user uh, via the input device like a keyboard 
or sometimes it may involve some file also. So that is called as actually the IO operations. And the next service is a file system manipulation. So we know that what is meant by file. So what is meant by file means whatever operation uh, or whatever uh, content we want to uh, do so that we can store it in a file. So the programs needs to read and write files and directories, create and delete them, search them and list file information and permission management. So there are various operation we can uh, do it on files. So the famous operation is read and write operation. Similarly, uh, directories, we can read and write directories. Uh, we can create a directory by using the commands and we can delete the directories. We can delete the files or we can create the files, search the particular uh, uh, information, the file, and we can list all the file information, then permission management. So these are all called as different uh, file system manipulation services. And uh, communication. So what is meant by communication means uh, sometimes the processes may exchange information on the same computer or between the different computers over the network. So whatever information we, uh, the processor, processes wants to share, so they can exchange information either on the same computer or between the computers, uh, between the computers over the uh, LAN connection, that is local area network, or sometimes we may call it as a uh, networks. So the communication may happen uh, through two ways, either by using the shared memory or through the uh, message passing. So these are all the uh, two uh, popular mechanism for doing the communication. Uh, one is uh, by using the shared memory concept and the other one is uh, by using the uh, message passing. So this is uh, another service provided by the operating system. And the next one is a error detection. So, uh, OS must, needs to be constantly aware of the possible errors. So uh, whenever we are executing a program or whenever uh, we have some hardware or software error, so the OS uh, should be capable of uh, finding out the error. So that is actually called as error detection. So what type of error may occur is, uh, errors may occur in the CPU and memory hardware, sometimes in IO devices or sometimes in the uh, user program also. So these are all the possible types of error may happen uh, either in CPU or in memory hardware or in IO devices like input and output device. Sometimes your uh, keyboard may be failed. Sometimes your output device like monitor or printer may be failed. Uh, sometimes your uh, program, uh, the program that is written by the user, uh, that also may contain errors. So the OAS uh, for each type of error, OAS should take the appropriate action to ensure correct and consistent computing. So whenever any error occurs, uh, the responsibility of the operating system is, uh, it should take the appropriate act action to ensure correct and uh, consistent computing. And debugging facilities can greatly enhance the users as well as programmers ability to efficiently use the system. And so another set of uh, OS function exists for ensuring the efficient operation of the system itself is uh, via the resource sharing. So these are all the other uh, services provided by the operating system. Uh, I'll tell one by one. First one is a resource allocation. So what is one by resource allocation is uh, whenever multiple users or multiple jobs running concurrently, the resources must be allocated to each of them. Suppose if we, have a, uh, if we are having single user, uh, only single job, that is single uh, resources are available, there, there may, may not be any problem. Uh, in case if you are using uh, multi-user operating system, so multiple users or multiple jobs are running concurrently, whatever resources are available, that resources must be allocated to each of them. So resources, what, what type of resources we have is, we have a CPU cycle, we have a main memory, we have a file storage, we have an IO devices. So these are all the different types of resources. So whatever resources uh, that are available with the operating system, that resources must be allocated to uh, each, uh, each user in an efficient manner. So that is actually called as uh, resource allocation. So next one is accounting. So what is meant by accounting means uh, to keep track of which users uses how much and what kind of computer resources. So that is actually called as accounting. Uh, so as I told, we have uh, many type of resources are available. So which users are uh, using which resources and how much resources are utilized by the particular user. So that, that information are kept by the operating system by using the 
accounting services and uh, last service is a production and security so the owners of the information stored in a multi user or networked computer system may want to control use of that particular information and the concurrent process should not interfere with each other uh, what this is this is actually called as protection so what is meant by protection means suppose if you are an, an, uh, if you are having some information uh, the particular owners of the information only use that particular uh, res, uh, particular information suppose if i am having some one file that is sto stored in the multi user or network computer system so any user if they if they are trying to open the particular file they should be prevented from using it that is actually called as protection okay so what is meant by protection means so protection involves ensuring that all access to the system resources are controlled for example if you are having a system so you will be asked to enter the username and password if you are an authorized user uh, only if you are providing the correct username and correct password if you are not providing the correct username and uh, correct password then you are an uh, you are an uh, unauthorized user uh, you should be protect, protected from uh, using the uh, using or accessing the uh, particular system so this is actually called as protection so protection denotes for ensuring that all access to the system resources are is controlled next one is a security so what is meant by security means uh, security of the system from outsiders requires user authentication extends to defending external io devices from invalid access attempts as i told only authorized users will be allowed to access the uh, particular system if you are an unauthorized user you will be prevented from using the uh, particular system this is actually called as security thank you